Okay. Hey, Lenny Gill, life is no yoke. Do you remember in grade school, a lunch lady would take an ice cream scooper and scoop mashed potatoes, take the gravy, make a lake, and then fill it with gravy? I, that was always so mesmerizing to me. Well, fast forward to today, and cauliflower mash is similarly as mesmerizing. It is so, so good. Our version is easy, it's quick, and it's vegan. But still, it's creamy, it's savory, and it's potato-y. Here's how we make creamy cauliflower mash. All right, there are three phases to making this cauliflower mash. The prep, the boil, and the blend. All right, it's so easy. Here's what you're gonna need. From the fridge, cauliflower, a little bit of almond milk, garlic. We use these pre-peeled ones. It makes life a lot easier. And if you have it, chives adds color and flavor. From the pantry, a little olive oil, and of course, trusty salt and pepper. And then the tools that you'll need is a blender and a big old pot. All right, quick note on the tools. This is a really easy task for a blender. Even an immersion blender should work just fine. But since it lives on my counter, I'm rocking a Vitamix Pro 750. Cauliflower mash, cauliflower mash. Who's ready to eat some cauliflower mash? Me! Too much. All right, let's begin starting with the prep. We'll boil some water and then take the cauliflower, we'll peel it, clean it, and cut it. I wonder if anyone eats this part of the cauliflower. And that's the prep. On to phase two, the boil. We'll boil for 10 minutes, and while we're waiting, we'll saute a couple cloves of garlic. We'll set the garlic aside, we'll drain the cauliflower, and now we're ready to blend. We'll add the almond milk, garlic, cauliflower, salt, and pepper. And then we'll blend on medium speed for about 30 seconds or until everything is silky smooth. Again, an immersion blender would work just fine, but I'm using my Vitamix's tamper to get a more efficient, consistent blend. Look this. It's beautiful. Take a look. And just like that, you have creamy, savory, potato-y cauliflower mash with some chives on top. Mmm. Now before I try, I have a few bonus tips. Bonus tip number one, you can add chives or red onion to give it some color. Oops, I already did that. Okay, can I eat them now? Okay, bonus tip number two. If you're working with a real meat and potatoes guy, try half and half. Half potatoes, half cauliflower. Mmm. And then bonus tip number three. You don't need to tell anyone it's cauliflower. Your pickiest eaters will never know. It looks and feels and tastes identical. Oh baby, these are not your lunch ladies mashed potatoes. For the full recipe, go to my website. It's lifeisnoyolk.com. You can type it into your browser or click the link below. And don't be selfish. Share this with friends. Because, of course, life is no yolk. Now, if you want to be like a lunch lady, you can take the ice cream scooper and scoop yourself some, some mashed potatoes. Kind of looks like ice cream.